Hello, good morning. This is your host, June, and uh, we're going to continue with our exercise number two. If you missed the video on the exercise number one of this bat simulator, just look in our playlist. In this case, we already have a start-stop circuit and a counter up. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a countdown to have an XIC or examine it close. And the address is our uh, flow meter number three. And it's the same address with our countdown and count up. Which is 285. 285 anyway is 90% uh, of the total tank capacity, which is 315 uh, based on our uh, exercise number one. So after that, and we use the retentive timer to use XIC. And the one who uh, energized this retentive timer is our done bit of our countdown and count up. Okay, let's use the done bit. After that, we're going to have an XIC. Mixer. And before that, we're going to go to our data table and go to our timer. And we use the accumulation and the preset value is uh, 8 seconds because we have a time base of uh, 0.1. A timer timing bit for our uh, retentive timer. This retentive timing bit, how it works is when this uh, retentive timer is energized, this one will be on until the accumulation value is equal to our preset value. Once the accumulation value is equal to the preset value, this, this bit will uh, open. After that, we're going to get a mixer tag or address, and let's let's download first this exercise and test, and let's see if this exercise is going to work. Okay, run, start. meter so this one's counting after that okay timing timing bit the mixer is on for eight seconds after eight seconds stop okay good so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to find a way how to program this pump tree to discharge liquid in our town okay let's try to do that let's go to program Uh, let's add uh, rank. So I see. We'll use pair. I think I, I need to use compare. This one is, I think, the best. So let's see this one greater or equal so let's go to our data table let's go to counter and let's go to accumulation what i'm trying to do is uh, i will put first ote for our uh, discharge pump or pump tree the address what i'm going to do is I want to run this pump when the retentive timer done bit is already finished. So I will use a done bit for a retentive timer here before this one going to activate. Okay, let's go to the data table and let's go to our timer. Done bit.
okay and this one should uh, equal to zero so when this uh, accumulation value of our counter is equal to zero this one will stop but before this one will uh, give a signal to our discharge pump we make sure that the mixer is already done uh, mixing for eight seconds we have a done bit here for our retentive timer let's try that one okay okay now it's discharging now it should stop okay that's good so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to reset uh, timer after the tank is empty because if we are going to start now we cannot start so we need to reset first this timer to zero so how we are going to do that is uh, we need to add here And we need another compare instruction again. I will just do equal. So, and I will use source A is equal to zero. And it will reset our timer. And the address is our retentive timer. Okay, and let's try to do done bit here if it's going to work. This is just like trial and error. Let's download it. And reset simulation. Reset timers and counters. And run. Let's see. After 8 seconds, this one will uh, activate after it is equal to zero the, the discharge pump will start at the same time uh, the retentive timer is also reset okay if we look here it is equal to zero now so that means we can start all over again okay let's see the process so 90 percent with this 285 or 315 after eight seconds stop a uh, timer timing bit uh, activate the timer done bit and reset one more i think that's it it works so an exercise number three we are going to make this one uh, fully uh, automated so uh, bear with me so if you uh, have uh, suggestions or comments just comment below what topic that we're going to to be discussed 